So for this example, we're gonna determine the work a hiker must do on a 15 kilogram backpack to carry it up a hill of height h equals 10 meters, as shown below. Determine also b, the work done by the gravity on the backpack, and c, the net work done on the backpack. So first, we're gonna write out what we know. So we know that we're gonna to have to calculate the work, which is, we know that it's force times distance times cosine theta. But if we look at this, we don't have anything about theta, we have the height. So if you look at this picture right here, we know that um, d cosine theta is going to be equal to the height from trig, right? So we're just breaking apart the vector, and we know that, that um, the height component, or the vertical component, is cosine theta times d. So now what we need to do is we need to find out what FH is. So if we do net force in the y is equal to zero, we have F of H minus mg equals zero, or FH equals mg, which we can plug in as 15 times 9.8, which is equal to 147 newtons. So, if we want to find the work done, um, the work that the hiker must do, we know that the work for the hiker is equal to, it's going to be the force, which is 147 newtons, times d cosine theta, but we said d cosine theta equals the height, which we know is 10 meters. So we get 1470 joules. It says now to determine also the work done by the gravity on the backpack. So if we do that, we have work due to gravity is equal to, it's gonna be the same thing as force times d cos theta, um, but th in this case, we have theta as equal to 180 minus theta. So we have mg, which is gonna be 147, times d times cosine of 180 minus theta. Cosine of 180 is going to be negative 1, and we have cosine of negative theta, which is going to give us that this is equal to 147 times negative d cos theta, which is essentially equal to negative 147 times negative h, where we know we have times negative 10, which equals negative 1470 joules. So that's the work done from gravity which you can see is equal and opposite to the work done by the hiker. So if we do the net, we add these two works together and we get 1470 minus 1470 is gonna equal zero joules.